Hello Water Signs, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here with me. This is going to be an exciting reading because we're looking into what's coming up in your life, next major changes, new chapters, new people, anything new and exciting that you need to know about and that you need to look forward to because we all need something to look forward to, Water Signs. So this is going to be for you. It can be for the cross watchers dealing with the water sign as well. Um, it can give an indication of what's to come in the future, hopefully. So um, before I begin, please subscribe to the channel. That would be amazing. Um, you can become a channel member and that'll give you access to member only tarot content and extended readings. And you can do that via the join button of my channel. If you were after a private reading with me, please feel free to reach out. I am currently accepting those. Otherwise, let's see. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Next major changes in your life. How exciting. Okay, you had a card fling out then. All right, you have the Wheel of Fortune. It's reversed though, so I'm going to read it kind of reversed. Okay, this is a time, I feel like you're coming into a time where you're reanalyzing and reconsidering a lot of things you've done in your life up till now. This is like huge. You're digging deep. Um, this is a lot of retrospect um, that I'm seeing that's coming up for you here. So you're reassessing things. Some of you are going back. Okay, you're, I don't think you're regressing. It may be. Um, or there's opportunities for something from your past maybe that's coming up. Okay, we have Pisces here as well. Pisces is coming up reversed. Okay, you're looking to the past, water signs, Pisces. This could be more for you. Some of you are revisiting something from your past. A past opportunity is going to come back around. Um, it's something that sort of never left you. Um, it could be a person, a relationship. It's something from your past that... You've you sort of always wanted things to work out a certain way and it didn't up until this point. There might be an opportunity coming back up to sort of make things right again. Okay, you've got the magician. I really feel there's a lot of entrepreneurial energy around you. The magician can be Aries. You've got temperance. Okay, the starseed card. This is powerful. I feel like you're manifesting something very powerful okay water signs you have a really beautiful relationship coming up two of cups i am so happy for you this is basically meeting your soulmate or meeting your twin flame so there is a new chapter now i don't know if this is like a um if this is a relationship from your past or it's like the universe gave you this opportunity to sort of not regress but turn things around where you could so i feel like the, you've manifested with a starseed card. You've manifested this relationship into your life, this soulmate, this twin flame. It could be like a collaboration here as well. It's a partnership that's destined to happen and it's destined to flourish here for you. Now, it can be to connected to the magician's entrepreneurial energy. The magician is known to be a figure of solitude. So what are signs if you've been single for a while and you've been missing relationships and, and or you, you, you wanted someone and you keep thinking about them, they're going to pop up into your life. This is fantastic. You'll have a chance to sort of maybe do things again and do it bigger, better, so much more amazing than it ever was before. So, you know, that op opportunity could really change your life right now. Um, two of Cups, it can lead to marriage or engagement. So for some of you, I feel like there's a possibility for marriage or engagement that's coming up around you fairly soon. And again, I feel like you've manifested this. It could be with an um, Pisces. We've got Sagittarius here, Two of Cups is often seen as Leo, so it may be with one of these signs that is very exciting. So, I mean, it could be a collaboration or a friendship here as well, but it's it's to do with another person and it's the opportunity to make things right in that relationship, in that friendship, in that connection. So I feel like you've been wanting this. You've been wanting this and you've manifested it and ta-da, here it is. So go with it. You know, if that's what your heart's telling you, go with it. So this could also be in terms of like business connections and networking and all that sort of stuff, especially again, if you're trying to build an empire, if you're trying to work on leveling up or you're in that entrepreneurial lane, this is definitely for you. Um, 
The King of Cups is reversed, though. They often represent love. So it's coming up reversed. Um, it could be that some of you are going the other way. You might have this Two of Cups relationship, water signs, but you're no longer feeling as involved. Or you're no longer feeling, hey, you know, I don't want a relationship right now. I want to do other things. Or, you know, you've got something else going in your mind. An opportunity may present itself for you to disconnect from this person entirely. Uh, you know, maybe they have toxic traits. Maybe they've been bad to you. Maybe they just don't give you the love they did once upon a time. It happens. We fall out of love. So, you know, the temperance is the universe is trying to give you that peace. And it could indicate like a peaceful disconnection. So it doesn't mean it's it's messy. If it's like a breakup or a divorce, it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be super messy. Um, I feel like you'll handle it quite well, especially if it's coming from a good place. If it's coming from a genuine place that you're ready to disconnect, you know, do it. Follow your heart. Um, I also feel like with the Nine of Pentacles reversed, you're possibly about to blow your money on, on something or someone here. Um, so I feel like your finances, it might be with an Earth sign. Uh, it could be that you don't want to end things with an Earth sign, a Taurus, Capi, Virgo. Um, but I feel like, yeah, your money, something about your money is slipping through your fingers. So be mindful of that um, because the devil's on top here and the devil can rule like excessiveness, like drinking, partying, smoking, bad habits, okay, naughty habits. So if that's coming up, you might be overindulging more than usual. Um, the universe wants you to remind you that you have the opportunity to bring peace and moderation into your life. So this would be the best time to introduce that. Okay, some of you might be meeting someone famous or you're coming into alignment with someone who is inspirational. It could be a person. It could be a teacher, an author. Uh, it could be some sort of hobby, but it's something that's going to inspire you internally and externally. It's sort of going to be this new lifestyle maybe that you're introducing and it's going to motivate you. So it could be something to do with your mental health, or physical activity, going to the gym, being active, you know, getting into competitive sports. Like it's something that's going to keep you focused and the universe is giving you this opportunity because now is the time to start or restart this. So that's fantastic. That's really, really lovely water signs. I'm going to leave it there. This is where I love you and leave you. I hope this reading has been helpful. So thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe. And also, if you'd like to become a member, you will get uh, access to member-only content. So hopefully I'll see you on the other side. Thanks again, everyone, and bye for now.